Greetings, owners of fine luxury digital rectangles. Okay, guys, end of season is here. We've got some chest claims. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's get started. Actually, this is my $10 account. This is the first time um, I've ever been able to open a gold chest on this account. Um, as you can see, I can't believe I actually pushed up to a rating of over 2200, which is far and away the highest that I've ever gotten on this account. So let's see if we get lucky in this one gold chest. Now it could be anything from um, just a single copy of a common card. It could be, um, well, I got last season five gold uh, rare summoners. So see if we get lucky with this one gold chest and then we'll go ahead and open our uh, end of season silver chests. So I hope you guys are enjoying the new uh, ranking system. Uh, personally, I like it. I've had a lot of success with it. I've gotten a lot higher in both my accounts than I thought I would. So see if that continues uh, moving into this season. Okay, so here we go. So here's the first gold chest on this account. And just kind of a dud, just four alchemy potions. So nothing too spectacular there. So now let's go and open the silver chest. I think I had 12. No, more than that. I had 14. So this tell me how many cards I got. So three charges were used. So I only got three cards out of 14 chests. Okay. So we got some SPS. Oh, well, one of the cards was gold. So we did get a gold fire collar. So that's awesome. Some more SPS. A summoner. Okay, so there's our second of three cards. So happy to get a summoner. Let's see what the final card is. few potions and last uh, chest is a card so three swamp spitters okay cool one of my favorite cards so <clears throat> only three cards but we did get a gold and we got a summoner and then as you can see this season I will be earning gold chests on my $10 account now the problem is um, even though my rating was high I don't have a lot of SPS to help me get a lot of reward shares I just have a little bit over a thousand SPS. So even though you know I'm able to win some matches, I think the most points I was getting was like uh, maybe 13 or 1400 points. And as you can see, it takes 22,000 points just to get the first chest. So I'm not gonna get very many chests on this account, but hopefully the few that I do get are gonna end up being good. Does this actually show how many reward points? Yeah. So 2,200 rating, I only got 1,400 reward points, 1,500, 14. So it's going to take me a long time to get those chests, but at least for um, my daily chests, I'll be able to get silver. Okay, so let's head on over to the main account. Got to remember today, I also need to do my guild brawls. Okay, so I had two gold chests um, doing my dailies with Jovac, and then I've got end of season chests. So let's go ahead and claim these two gold. And I think I ended up getting the most gold chests I've gotten. I think I had 37. We'll check that in a minute. Okay, so probably no cards because I'm not seeing the potions on the bottom. So we got nine alchemy potions and 64 merits. So you can kind of use those potions as a spoiler to see how many cards you're going to get. Okay, so, yep, 37. We're not going to look at the potions. We'll keep it a surprise, see how many cards we end up getting. Uh, <clears throat> once again, just hoping for gold summoners or any summoners in general, just to kind of be able to play higher level cards. Okay, good start. 14 SPS is pretty good for gold. 10 potions. About 1 SPS. Seven Ferox Defenders. Seven Swamp Spitters. So a good amount of commons. There we go. Epic. It's been a while since I've got any Epic. So we got a Clockward Aid. Four Alchemy Potions. 115 Merits. 11 Alchemy. Another Clockwork Aid. Okay, so two of the same Epic in the same row. Five Fungus Flingers. Seven Gobs and Bombers, Nine Alchemy Potions, 140 Merits, 
0.6 SPS. Another clockwork aid. I think they're trying to tell me something. 0.47 SPS. Three coastal sentries. Two Tamaki orcs. 64 merits. Now the interesting thing is I've gotten three epics, but no rares. That's kind of unusual. 0.78 SPS. 0.398. 11 alchemy. Six possessed puppets. Six scabs and bombers. 0 0.753 SPS. Seven Ferox Defenders. So we're getting a lot of the common cards for Fungus Flingers, but still no rares. Five SPS. There's a good one. Ten Alchemy. Getting towards the end here already. There we go. Wow. Three gold possessed puppets. So that's nice to get multiples of a gold card. 12 alchemy, three more gobs and bombers, one uh, summoner. So glad to get a summoner, but unfortunately only one. And that's also the first rare card. Seven legendary. So last two chests, eight alchemy potions, and finishing up with 2.3 SPS. So overall, not too bad, a decent amount of cards. Uh, three epics was very nice. But like I said, very unusual to get three epic cards, but only got a single rare in all of those gold chests and a couple decent SPS hits. So this right here would tell me 16 cards we got all together. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the soul bounds. Main thing I want to see is how many clockwork aids do I have now and can I level them up? That was so weird to get three of the same one. I think there actually might be one that I don't have yet. Okay, let's just look at Epics, Clockwork Aid. Okay, so we can get that to level 2. I think he only gets one more armor. I don't think he ever gets any more health. Yep, just one more armor. Another armor, then he gets rust, loses a health, gets or another shield, gets a shield back, and then ends up with strengthen. Okay, decent card. Yeah, the one that I don't have yet is I still don't have the one for water. So I'm still missing the epic water card. <clears throat> and then for commons. So anything that looks like I can level here. Doesn't look like there's much I can level. Yep, I still need three more copies of the Dry Bone Barbarian. But yeah, now that I'm playing higher level summoners, I need to get these comments higher than level five. <clears throat> and then, of course, we only got the one rare Water Summoner. Or no, Earth Summoner. So he's still level two. So as you can see, I still need a lot of work to do on my, my summoners. So let's go ahead and claim our SPS. And before we end the video, there's one thing that I want to talk about, which isn't Splinterlands related, but it is Splinterforge related. Uh, one of the things that they just did, actually a few moments ago, let me go to the Discord. Okay, so they reworked the leaderboard. So one thing that they had talked about doing is eliminating the Forge rewards on the boss uh, leaderboard, and it's going to be replaced right now as a, a combination of experience, electrum, and relic fragments. So even the bosses that are currently um, being battled, when they die, you're no longer going to get um, you know, the multiple thousand forge uh, rewards. You're going to get experience, electrum, and relic fragments. Um, they have a link to the breakdown of the leaderboard where it will show you um, the positions. Actually, let's just go to that real quick so you guys can see that. So if you go to um, click on the link, it'll show you the leaderboards. Um, so in bronze, uh, the top 50 will get rewards. Silver, the top 40 will receive rewards. The gold boss will um, reward the top 30 players and diamond the top 25. And they'll show you from you know rating one all the way to the end how much experience you're going to get, 
how much Electrum and how many fragments. Now, a lot of people that play in bronze, so if you can get in the top 20, you're going to get at least one fragment. Um, you're going to get 470, what is it, 488 for place 20, and almost 2,000 experience. So you are going to get um, a decent amount of experience for um, killing the boss. Uh, the main thing they wanted to do is they wanted to kind of help eliminate the inflation that was happening with the forge tokens since they were just giving away so much forge. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. That is live now. Um, one of the things they did do to kind of compensate for that is if you are playing against the diamond, gold, silver bosses, the top three bosses, you're going to get 50% more forge uh, per battle. Um, I think currently... For me in silver, I think I was getting right around 20 forge per battle, so I should be getting around 30. And then bronze battles will be increased by uh, 25%. So hopefully, um, long term, this is going to increase the forge uh, price. But um, if you go to Splinter Forge and you see this percentage here, part of the reason um, your earnings were low um, is because this was tied to the forge price. So as the forge price goes higher, you're going to get closer to 100% earnings. So right now, um, for the bronze boss, I think if you don't have gold gear, you're probably going to get somewhere around 7 forge. But remember, this is at, you know, just a little bit under a 25% multiplier. So if forge can push back to where it's uh, supposed to be, where it's uh, similar to DEC, where you get 1,000 uh, per dollar, then instead of getting 7 forge for the bronze boss, you're going to get probably closer to 30. Um, especially maybe a little bit more that they're now that they're adding that 25% bonus. Um, so then if you go to silver, like for me, um, if I'm going to be earning 30 forge, if this goes back to peg, I'm going to be earning over 100 forge per battle. So <clears throat> we just have to be patient. Um, hopefully as the forge slowly, you know, the supply slowly gets burnt, you know, buying packs, uh, doing the mine runs, buying bags, that kind of thing. As this price will... Um, Probably it's going to take it a few months, but slowly as it goes back up closer to peg, that's going to also b boost your earnings as well. So you're going to be earning more and it's going to be worth more. So just need to, like I keep saying, stay the course, uh, keep on forging, you know, just keep playing Spinner Forge. And these um, amount of forge earnings should be going up over time. Okay, guys, there you have it. So just wanted to make you aware of that, um, show you my end of season rewards. Overall, not too bad. Um, you know, decent, but not great. But I am excited to be playing um, in the higher league, especially on my $10 account. And it sounds like this is the last season we're going to play uh, with reward chests. So enjoy opening the chests at the end of the next season because it sounds like that's going to be the last time we open chests. From then on, um, you're going to get reward shares and they're going to be called Glint. And then you're going to have a store where you can buy several different items. Uh, a couple YouTubers have uh, made videos uh, going over all that in detail. Uh, please check out Bronze Dragon and Aftersound. They are the two that I know went through that in detail. Um, I would have made a video on it. I've just been way, way too busy at work. Um, so hopefully in the next week or so I can come out with some new content. But I uh, hope you guys are doing well. hope you had great end of season rewards. Uh, let me know if the sound quality on this video is a little bit better. Um, I do have a new microphone that I just got, so I'm using that now. So hopefully uh, the quality is a little bit better. So hope you guys are doing well. Remember, stay the course, keep on forging, and have fun. We'll see you again soon. Take care.